Good morning from a beautiful sunrise in the Khalkhari Trans Frontier Park. So we're staying here at the Nosal Burvaside Chalets, which are absolutely incredible. Um, I don't know if you can see through the glass here, but massive windows from the bedroom looking out at this beautiful view. Look at the sunrise, it is absolutely stunning. Right here on the river. So we've had a good night's sleep with some beautiful stargazing from bed um, but I think right now we are going to head on a morning drive and hope we're a bit more lucky than we have been the past few days. from a very uneventful uh, game drive, which is sad. It's like now the fifth game drive in a row that's been quite uneventful. Um, we saw a few things, but nothing too exciting. Um, but I think last night's time lapse uh, was really cool. I hope it turns out as nice as I think it did. Um, but yeah, so now we're just back here at our chalet. I'm gonna make a quick bacon and egg breakfast and then we have to check out and I think then we're heading over to the Kalahari tented camp which should be very exciting I think that's a that's a what three hour three and a half hour drive so that'll be quite nice um, maybe we'll see something along the way I have no idea but have a look at this beautiful view from this place Absolutely stunning, right? Well, that's it. Goodbye, no surprise, Chalet. picnic site. Uh, just stopping for a quick break to stretch our legs. We've been driving for about an hour and a half. I think we still have another about a hundred k's to go. Uh, the next stretch is up and over the dunes, so the dune route. Um, I think that's about 50 or 60 k's and then still another 50, and 60, 50 or 60 k's up the Matamata river bed to the tented camp. Should be exciting. <laughs> Look at all the birdies. They're just waiting for our biltong. Just gonna break open a pea pod from this acacia tree. <laughs> all right, let's get on the road again.
just been driving along the dune road um, across from Nosob to Matamata and I just had a watering hole now here in the dune here in the dunes and we've come across a lioness. I don't know if you can really see her. Wait, it's thick that go across this window. But she's lying way back there. Okay. Hey guys, so after a grueling four and a half hour drive, we've made it to the Kalahari Tented Camp. Actually, our drive wasn't that bad. We just stopped along the way at all the water holes, saw some nice things. But anyway, so Kalahari Tented Camp, and this is our unit. Let me show you around. So firstly, we have a fenced off little area for our car to protect our tires from the lions. Hungry tire eating lions. Um, That's quite nice, some of the gates that close and whatnot. But come on, let me show you inside, the most important part. A little gate to keep us safe. And the most magnificent part of the place, the view. Along with our own little bry area, looking out at a lonely springbok. And over here to the left is a kitchen. Um, which is quite nice. Just everything that you really need. A basin, a gas stove, fridge, table. And the most important part, as I said earlier, the view. This is incredible and unrivaled. Pretty cool fact about this place, it's all solar powered. So you can feel green while you stay here. Come, let me show you the bedroom. So this is the family unit, bedroom for four, and almost every bed, pretty much every bed, has one, once again the stunning view out onto the Mata Mata River bed, um, with our own water hole sitting right down here. Really stunning, and massive windows that can open, and you can roll up almost all the sides of the tent. It's really incredible for light and all that lovely stuff. And the bathroom is here at the back with a toilet, as you expect, would expect, a basin, a gas heater for warm showers, and obviously then a nice shower. But yeah, that's about it. It's such a lovely place. So, hope you enjoyed our house tour. I think we are mostly, most definitely going to enjoy staying here for the next two days. And I think we might have an afternoon nap now. Well, and we'll see you again later for a afternoon drive. And hopefully we get lucky and see some incredible sightings. And see you guys later.
So, we had a eventful game drive. <laughs> um, oh, no, actually we did. We saw some very, some giraffe, which are really cool. Looked like bending down and drinking. But that was, that was only like towards the end. Uh, literally, like as we were rushing back home. Uh, so that was really cool. And <laughs> at the beginning, we saw those ostriches <laughs> playing in the yeah. dirt. That was quite funny. Um, and doing their mating dances. <laughs> I think Holly got some very explicit photos of them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now we're just, we've come back from our game drive, which, yeah, I think we've been a bit disappointed with our sightings over the last while. Yeah. Um, but luckily we are still in one of the most beautiful places in the world. And we are sitting here. By, our, by the tented camp and by our chalet or whatever, tent, and by the fire and enjoying the evening. So with GNT. With GNTs, <laughs> yes. And then we're gonna make some steak and oh, steak and something. Not quite sure just yet. And just enjoy the evening. And then we'll probably see you guys again tomorrow morning, bright and early for a game drive. Um, I think tomorrow we're planning on going quite a bit further I think we're gonna try and go down from, yeah, from uh, the Kalari tented camp, go past Yurikaris and try look down there because we see the cheetah sightings and leopard sightings have all been down there. So, gonna try mission our way down there tomorrow morning and see if we can see anything. And we'll let you in on what happens. And I think maybe we'll try to take some star photography, do some star photography tonight because it's a beautiful clear night and there will be absolutely no light pollution around us. So, if that goes well, you might see it. If not, you'll see us again pretty soon tomorrow morning. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> a very special sighting this morning right from the like deck of our tent we just as we just before we woke up we heard some lions roaring um, like really nearby so we quickly got out got all our stuff got ready to go for a game drive and then we saw there were a bunch of lions right in the camp so that was really cool um, we got some nice sightings of them. Uh, the male was a bit far away, but the females were quite close. And then once they were out of sight of the camp, we left for our game drive and probably 
200 meters along the road, we found the lions again walking along the riverbed. Mm -hmm. So, and we got some nice pictures and video of them there. So that was quite special. to get back but yeah we're now at the picnic spot at the turnaround point um, I haven't really seen anything to be honest besides the lions this morning obviously we've seen some of the normal stuff Hems Bonk we've uh, we, we saw uh, two giraffe males fighting so that, that was cool but other than that we really haven't really seen that much that's really interesting um, we spent quite a bit of time driving slowly looking for leopard uh, to no avail, but anyway, we yeah, so now we're gonna make ourselves a quick sandwich for lunch and wow, look at all these birds and then head back. pointed out a female lioness to us that's hiding on the top of a dune here. Um, can only really see a sliver of her, but I think it's probably the same lioness we saw yesterday on the dune route. That's also, it's on the same road, just a bit further along. Um, but yeah, pretty cool to see. Nice to see lions, always. 
We'll see what else we see, but I don't think we'll see much more before we head home. Eucharist, which is here, uh, Roybrook, and I think we turned around at Montrose down there. So it's about 60 70 k's to there, and then turn around back. And we saw the lioness over here. Um, Cheetah was, I think that was over here somewhere. And we saw the African wildcat quite close to camp. And what else? Oh, yeah. And someone saw a leopard right there where we drove past. Great. So, after a much needed and well deserved long afternoon nap, um, we've just woken up feeling quite a bit groggy but it's actually yeah it was so good um, and it, it's a bit cloudy here which is interesting um, which is actually making it a very nice bearable temperature out in the Sun and stuff so I think we might have good luck with the uh, game drive this evening uh, for our game drive this evening we are actually going with the drive on a drive with um, Sandparks, one of their game drives. It's, I think it's called a Sunset Drive, so it starts at uh, 5.30 and ends at 8 p.m. So it's actually quite nice, so it actually goes into the night a bit. So we might actually get to see some things coming to drink while it's like dark and do a bit of night driving and all, all that lovely stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that should be starting soon. We're just getting our gin and tonics ready, getting our cameras ready, nice warm clothes. Um, yeah, we're very excited and let's hope it is fruitful. Fruitful. <laughs>
So we had a lovely uh, yeah. evening game drive. We saw some awesome things. Uh, things starting with the giraffes yeah. at the water, watering hole. I think there were 15 or 16 of them all drinking at the same time, which was absolutely incredible. I think I really loved that. It yeah, was so that good. Was really cool. It was quite something special to see. Um, what else did we see in the day? Not so much while it was light. Though. Yeah. But I'm sure you guys saw. And then <laughs> and then we also saw some really cool things at night. One of the highlights being for Cheetah, mm -hmm. which was absolutely incredible. I don't think my footage of them is too good, <laughs> but yeah, a bit difficult while holding a spotlight in the one hand and trying to focus and holding the camera and keeping it steady and then also giving the spotlight to someone else, Holly, mm -hmm. <laughs> to help. And yeah, it was a bit difficult, but yeah. But now we've just, recently gotten back to the Kalahari tented camp and made ourselves a nice fire outside and this massive wind just suddenly picked up and hasn't stopped and it hasn't <laughs> stopped yet it's crazy I don't know if you can hear it but it's quite scary actually <laughs> like it just came out of nowhere it was a beautiful still evening and now the wind is howling very strange um, but I don't know if you can see outside my little GoPro is taking a time lapse, so it is braving the storm and we'll live vicariously through it and see what the storm looks like. Good morning from our last beautiful sunrise in the Khalkhari Transfrontier Park. We've just woken up with some lions roaring off in the distance in the dunes, which was nice, and we had a lovely night's sleep. It's so nice and quiet here. All you can really hear is birds chirping, some animal, animal noises every now and then, uh, I guess, and last night the wind blowing, but <laughs> other than that, it's really so quiet and peaceful here. So this morning, as I said, is our last morning here. We are heading back to uh, Cape Town, um, but I think we'll only arrive there tomorrow. Tonight, today, our plan is to go on an early morning uh, game drive right now, like in the next two minutes, and slowly make our way down to Tuirifiren, where the park gate is. Um, we're planning on getting at the park gate at like 12-ish, and the time now is I think about 6.30 a.m. So we're gonna take a slow uh, drive down, I think it's about 150 k's, um, see if we see anything, I'll let you know. So we've made it here to Tuirifiren. Um, this is our last point 
in the park. This is our point of departure. Uh, quickly gonna pump up the car's tires, gonna fuel up, gonna have some lunch at the restaurant, and then head off back down to Cape Town. I think we have about 1,400, no, I think 1,200 Ks to go, but I think we're gonna do it over two days. Um, but I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. So I think I'm gonna end off the video and little series over here. So thanks so much uh, for watching guys and I hope you did enjoy it. Leave some comments down below what you thought and how I could improve the videos. And yeah, otherwise I would really suggest you guys come to the park. It is absolutely incredible. Um, I think with our sightings, our first day we were very lucky. Then we had three terrible days and now the past two days have been really good again. So yeah, definitely it, it evens out, but I would definitely suggest coming. But anyway, see you guys next time. Cheers. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It really does make a difference. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right. Until next time, cheers.